And now exclusive at 530, an accused priest comes out of court swinging. A hearing just wrapped up for a man of God accused of stealing from his church. That priest is only talking to our Joe Holden about the explosive allegations. Joe joins us now from Downingtown. Good evening. Yuki, good evening to you. The hearing lasted about an hour. The judge said in the end it all comes down to transparency. Monsignor Joseph McLoon tonight still facing dozens of theft charges. Speaking exclusively to CBS3, Monsignor Joseph McLoon wants his day in court. Well, people who know me, I think, know who I am, and I think that's enough said. I've cooperated fully with this process from the very beginning, the Archdiocese and legally, and I look forward to the day when the truth will come out fully. The former pastor of St. Joseph Parish in Downingtown is accused of diverting more than $100,000 in church donations to an alleged secret account. One detective's claim only the Monsignor controlled. Court records show, among other things, McClune deposited donations made by parishioners in memory of their deceased loved ones. Investigators claim that account was opened for the sole purpose of concealing donations for what the church calls All Souls Day. Detective Ben Martin testified, quoting, one of the reasons to open the account was to use it as a vehicle to take the All Souls collection because he wasn't allowed to take it, end quote. The judge who acknowledged he knew the former pastor and was a parishioner at his church found there was sufficient evidence to send the case to trial. McLoone allegedly used the money to pay bills and more for his own personal gain. A detective testified the archdiocese feared some of that money was used to pay male prostitutes. Melissa McCafferty represents the Monsignor and disputes the characterization McLoone misappropriated church funds. The big picture, I guess it remains to be seen what a jury says about the big picture, but they're not going to be able to prove these charges. As far as any inappropriate spending was concerned, they're not going to be able to prove it unless it was marked money, I guess. And an assistant district attorney for Chester County District Attorney's Office declined to comment on the camera here. At this point, the Monsignor next faces a formal arraignment in Chester County Court. We're live in Downingtown. I'm Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Joe, thank you.